Welcome to our Nuxio Developer Basics course. During this course, you will learn developing and deploying great additions to Nuxio platform. Then we will get into the framework's finer details so you can improve your knowledge and understand what makes building an application on top of Nuxio platform so easy and unique. First of all, you need to understand how you can integrate your code in Nuxio platform. Let's have a quick look at the deployment mechanisms used by Nuxio Platform behind the scenes. Nuxio Platform's architecture has been made with a few rules in mind. It should be modular. You shouldn't need to touch its source code to change the way it works, even if you want to dig in deeply. Applications built on top of Nuxio Platform should be easy to maintain in the long term. Nuxio Platform is actually a war file. At every startup, this war file is assembled dynamically by a tool named the Nuxio Runtime, and it uses OSGI principles. In short, OSGI principles are used to make the application modular. Each functionality is brought by a JAR file, also known as a bundle. Bundles contain an ID card, also known as a manifest file, code and resources that will be used to generate the final war file. Bundles are also meant to be isolated from each other, so that we could possibly deactivate a bundle any time, remove it for an update, and reactivate it. That's why bundles expose interfaces, called services, to communicate with each other. A service can be called from any bundle using framework.getService, and it passes the service's class name. So, for example, if we want to check if a user has the right permission on a given document, we would call the security service by doing the following, then use its check permission method. To use this code, the service first has to be discovered by the Nuxio runtime. We use components to do this. Components are XML files that we include in a bundle and reference in the bundle's manifest. At startup, the Nuxio runtime will analyze the bundle's manifest and load the classes mentioned by the components referenced into it. Note that components can be overridden. You can write your own service implementation, then override the service component to load your classes instead of the default ones. We'll give you more details about overriding components in a separate video. However, you don't need to write your own service to change the service's configuration or to add, change, or disable elements. Think LDAP configuration, permissions, document types, or buttons, for instance. We enriched the component model for this purpose by creating extension points. Extension points are meant to let you contribute elements or configuration without having to change the service's code. Contributions to the extension points are made through XML components and are referenced into the bundle's manifest file. During startup, their content is parsed by the services they contribute to. Each service holds a registry for these contributions, and so will keep track of the configuration and elements to be used during runtime. By using this system, you get a dynamically generated application at every startup depending on the bundles and components being loaded. Writing and maintaining XML contributions can quickly become an overwhelming task. That's why Nuxio Studio takes care of this for you. It allows you to configure the existing Nuxio platform services using a graphical interface, generates the corresponding XML, then packages it into a bundle that is added to Nuxio platform and deployed upon server restart. The limitations are that Nuxio Studio can only offer to configure existing services. When you need to add features that are not provided by default in Nuxio platform, you can code your own services and package them into dedicated bundles. And obviously, your services can also expose extension points if you want to make them configurable. That way, your application has no limit in terms of extensibility while remaining easy to upgrade. We should now practice removing a button from the web user interface using an XML contribution. Join us in the next video to learn how.